Hi, and welcome to the section number two. In this section, we are going to improve our PHP skills, introducing object-oriented programming concepts. We will start to see what is a function, how to use classes and objects in PHP, and how to have a better code structure with namespacing and composer. This video is about functions. We are going to see how to use functions in PHP and some special functions type. A function is useful to run tasks. It includes a set of instructions that can optionally receive input parameters and optionally return a value. We saw some PHP built-in functions in the previous video about arrays. I have provided official documents to help you learn them in depth. Now we are going to see how to create custom functions. Let's open a new file to see some examples. Defining a PHP function is pretty easy. This, for example, is a function that outputs a message. Functions name follow the same rules as the variable name as per PSR1. So these are correct functions declarations, and these are not. After declaring a function, we are ready to use it by calling its name. To see the input and output values in action, I'm going to create a function sum that accepts two numbers as input and returns a result. As we saw in the second video of section one, in PHP 7, we can specify scalar types of parameters and return the type in this way. If we call the function passing a string parameter, PHP will automatically coerce the values in an integer without any errors. If we enable strict type checking in this way at the top of the PHP file, this function call will produce a type error exception. Functions are one of the best methods to organize complex tasks, and we could mix them in different ways. Now, we're going to try to solve a simple problem. Given an input string in uppercase or lowercase, we want to create a function to return this string with a specific style. We will have only three types of styles, which are uppercase, lowercase, and this funny one. Our function needs two parameters, in the input one for the message and one for the style. And then we need to check the style and return the correct result. Checking the style could be done with a simple switch. For the uppercase and lowercase style, we can simply use these PHP built in functions. For the funny style, we can write a custom function. Our apply funny style function needs only the message as the input, and it will loop through each letter using uppercase for the even one and lowercase for the odd one. A string can be handled like an array of characters, which will simplify our funny style process. Remember that the first character is at position zero. Now it's time to try our function. We can call the lowercase, uppercase, and funny style like that, and see the result in the browser. As you can see, it can be funny to code in PHP. PHP 7 supports several ways to call a function. One of these uses variables. Let's see an example to clarify the concept. We can declare a variable $myVar function and assign it to the funny style function name. In this way, we can call the funny style function with the $myVar function variable. Another PHP function related feature is called the closure or anonymous function. It's the ability to declare a function without a specific name. Here, we can see several different examples.